round three, currently one and one. Feels like it should have been one and one the other way though. Uh, Mulligan, Sneep. Uh, I don't think we need that right now. Uh, yeah, we'll just lead on Inky. It's bad if they have Goblin Guide and Eidolon, because then I want to take the Eidolon and get hit by Goblin Guide, but you can't play every game like we're against Burn. So, uh, Inky basically misses, because we just hit mana and we want to stop the big stuff. So we can kill the bird, so we just take a Sprawl. And then we get to leak their first spell, not their second one. Unless we draw Snapcaster. And Thoughtseize is not in our deck. Surgical is not in our deck. Uh, so probably going to have a rough time with this matchup. This is, uh, this is the the wee hours of the night. So all the, all the fun modern decks are coming out to play. Uh, I haven't played against either of these decks in basically forever. <laughs> of the, th the three decks I've played against so far, so... So I'm not going to mana leak, so I might as well just play fetch land. I can't imagine what I would mana leak uh, when they have three mana. I will bolt the bird, though, if that ever does happen. Or Arbor Elf, same difference. Hmm. Really don't want Primal Command resolving. Uh, right now they have Command, Titan, and X. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that, that was their seven card hand. So I can cut the Titan and it's not the end of the world. I do have a Nick those, okay. Well now if they just go for Titan this turn I have to leak it. Or Garuk. Well, they've drawn mana and other big things, so this is kind of tough now. But now I'm in the spot where... Uh, I can play Jace and cut Bird. And I should have just cut the Bird end of turn, probably. This takes away two mana because of Nykthos. But if I cut the bird end of turn, then I could also Thought Scour on this turn, which would have been nice. So they could brick on land. Be, be pretty nice for me. We'll see what happens though. Anything could happen. Ooh, Colagon's command. That's nice. Uh, doesn't matter when I loot. Okay. I think discarding Thought Scar is right. So I can kind of go after their hand now. Ugh, the old Raven's Crime. We'll discard Emrakul, put it back in my deck. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'm supposed to win this matchup. I'm pretty sure I need a clock. Well, we 
we got a Titan. Really one of them to just play a bird so we could actually get a card. If they had a card we get Inquisition, I assume it would be in play. Not too many like reactive cards in this deck. They don't typically play cord. Wish I had Thoughtsies. Just go ham with the Thoughtsies. So many big cards. Draw a bird. Draw a bird. This is not a bird. That's a Garrick. I think we can deal with that, though. Okay, untap these two. Add four. Oh, yeah. So, command, and I assume a titan is still in their hand. They just discard another titan. Alright, so we have terminate for titan. Probably gonna have to bolt this beast at some point. It's possible I just want to tick down on command and get a card. So I would discard terminate. And then two turns I can command them again, but now we're just we're out in the open. If they if they draw something sweet, we can't deal with it. Again, I don't think this inky does anything. I will probably cast it next turn. I don't see any point to casting it this turn though. Uh oh. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, Genesis Wave for one. I don't think it revealed. Well, maybe they have another wave. Crater Hoof Primal Command. All right. So we have no way to get that command. We could trade Jace for a Thought Scour, or we could command them again. That, neither of those really do anything. But if they do draw a land, they could probably command my Jace, which would be pretty annoying. So I think I just trade this for a Thought Scour because getting their Crater Hope doesn't really do anything. And we'll keep the Fetch Land in play. Ooh. I was gonna say we'll keep the fetch land in play in case of primal command, but now we can just mana leak that. Still gonna keep the fetch though in case of running, running primal commands. Yeah, that's fine. Now can I even leak this command? Uh, yep, barely. Cool. So, to fetch or not to fetch, they're they're down two Primal Commands. How many can they really have, you know? 
This is a matchup where Molten Raid would be much better than Fulminator. Jeez. Blow up your Utopia Sprawled Forest. Alright, Pia. If there was ever a time. I believe that time is now. Probably should have fetched earlier. Because I was probably going to have to fetch eventually anyway. So I might as well. I mean, I could hold it. I don't have to fetch. But it's it's getting to be crunch time. Got to draw something at some point. Snapcaster would be good. Uh, even just drawing another Kologon's command would be great. We only have one of those left, though. Tasker would be good. Stop drawing Inquisitions. That would probably help. I guess Bitter Blossom kind of helps this matchup. Gives us a clock. Gives us something to do. Counter Squall, unfortunately, doesn't help all that much. I mean, I definitely bring it in because they have Command and Genesis Wave and Garrick and stuff. But it's not stop Titan. Or Eternal Witness, I suppose. All right, spell. It could be anything. All right, Snapcaster. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're one short of hoofing. Uh, I could just get rid of the hoof right now. I kind of want to just pass. Hope they brick. Although, if they draw a Titan, I could just, like, snap leak it, but then they're in hoof territory, but... Yeah, okay, this is bad. I feel like I should have just went snap, like, kill your burning tree or kill your bird and... Uh, have you discard the hoof. I got a little greedy. I wanted them to brick, me play Snapcaster, block the burning tree, uh, target the command, and then command back the Snapcaster. I feel like that's kind of what I needed to do to win this game, so... Actually fine with that play, but... Oh. Oh my. Well, we get to do what we wanted anyway. That's interesting. Strange that they did not go for it. Oh no! Oh, I stopped on my end of combat, not theirs. That's bad. Now I have to deal with this 5-5. Oh, man. I thought I was so smart. Oh, but now they don't have enough to do it because they traded away their burning tree. Eh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess I didn't need to do that stop then. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I... Eh. I do want them to discard. Because then it means that my command in their draw step is going to be live. So let's make sure to set their draw step this time. Alright, now we got a little something going. Now I can either return Jace or kill their bird. Killer Bird takes them off 6 mana, which is kind of the magic number, but they are basically out of Titans. They just have one left. No, two left. Oopses on all fronts. Oops, all fronts. Not, not proud of these matches. Not my finest work. Okay, well now we don't care about the bird. Alright, triple check, draw step stops, great. I'll return Jace, have you discard. Not sure what they could have, but I probably should have just bolted this bird on my turn. 
them bolted anyway before their next turn, so I might as well. All right, we have discard fodder. Sweet. Snappy Doo is in. Not sure how I'm even this far ahead in this game. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but here we are. We're all out of Kolagon's commands. And what is this? Eternal Witness. All right. Hopefully you get back a three drop. Not my finest work. Get back Primal Command. All right. Well, that's probably a good choice. Oh, draw Delta. Not very exciting stuff. Could potentially fetch first, I suppose. Because I'm likely just discarding this Inquisition anyway. And that gets what? Watery Grave? Yeah, last one. If I draw Watery Grave, I'm going to feel pretty silly. Ooh, Snapcaster. What can we do with that? Probably just mana leak them. I think we have to bolt right now to get that thing out of the way because it's going to translate into more damage in the long run. We drew a forest. Stomping ground, generally an indicator of Blood Moon, by the way. So might have to be wary of that one. Makes our Inquisitions a little bit better too. Alright. Just gotta fade a little bit longer. Another Jace helps, and then we can double bolt next turn, so. Certainly helps. Snapcaster on layaway. So, dead next turn. These games are a grind. Almost every single time. It's like this. This is this is how you win games. I assure you it's fine. Alright. Uh, yeah. Bitter Blossom. Counter Squall. Fulminator kills Nykthos in Stomping Ground. It's possible that they have just like a very heavy... Stomping ground hand. Let's see what we want to actually cut that. I definitely like all the bolts because it kills the little stuff. Terminate kills Titan. Uh, ugh. I just have to cut Pia and Kirin. The commands are really good that game. I can see like Crumble coming in. Staticaster should probably come in because of how many birds and stuff they have. Maybe I don't want as many Terminates. Just because I'm trying to make it so a Titan doesn't resolve. So I can see this. I can also see just cutting the Thought Scours too, actually. See the crumble, get your Nykthoses. Alright, we'll try this. I have a feeling if I draw the explosive, it's going to be really good. Kill your sprawl, kill your bird. Alright, well these are all the stupid terminates I didn't want. Opponent keeps seven, so we're kind of in trouble. Let's do it. Also dead to Blood Moon. <laughs> 
see if they choose red. Nope, choose green. Okay. Well, I could fetch into a swamp or something, but... I'm not sure that's necessarily going to help me. I guess I could, get, like, terminate some stuff if they did have a bunch of blood moons. Also, just, like, burning tree into blood moon. That's another thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Raw witness? Jesus. Oh, well, now I want to fetch Mountain to Terminate, which doesn't help me against Blood Moon. So I should have just played Black Leaf Cliffs, because I'll probably leak the Blood Moon anyway. Big dum-dums. Oh, sulky son. Well, if you're going to do that, now I can fetch a swamp because I want a mana leak. Hopefully you miss your land drop. Oh, what if they have, like, Summoner's Trap? That'd be a big game. It could be anything. Oh, the wolf run. Okay, so... Might not have Blood Moon. Might just have those. Maybe Blood Moons are too expensive. I think I should do this now because of Nykthos. Could get K commanded, but I can't stop it anyway. Or not K commanded, Primal commanded. I'm the one doing the commanding, not you. Tree speaker. Alrighty. That's a card, I guess. Alright, well, I'm convinced my opponent. Well, not 100% convinced, because they have the Selkie, so I understand naming green. But I was going to say, insulate from Blood Moon, even though I'm, I'm convinced they don't have it, but not 100% convinced. Alright, turn four, two threats, your turn. What do you have? A bird of paradise. Okay. That is going to be in there. I think I have that checked with my um, bitter blossom. I was still going to have to terminate it. Doesn't feel like it should be a good matchup, but here we are. Not 100% winning this game. K Command has been great so far. Explosives off the top would also be great. Just clear our opponent's board, start clocking them. Definitely want some Thought Seizes. I assume we can race our Bitter Blossom. And I'll likely terminate the Witness, which is why I paid two on the Blood Crypt. Uh oh. Cannot jam five mana fast enough. Maybe I won't be terminating any witnesses if they find a Primeval Titan. At least it's not Amulet. You know, where they're like, their Titans find them a Teleri West and a Karoo, and they just go infinite, basically, on Titans. This one I might be like, oh, you have no hands. Okay, I'll kill your Titan, and then maybe you don't do anything.
All right, so they did search for a Titan. We're gonna go ahead and top deck another Bitter Blossom. They still don't have Wolf Run mana. Curious if they actually want to block my Tassiger. I'm gonna attack with the fairy though. I don't think that one point will necessarily matter, and the two on me might matter, but I definitely want to get my opponent in range. Like maybe I draw a bolt or something and that cuts their clock. Maybe I don't have that luxury anymore. Still want to hold this Turbinate for the Titan. Now I'll have a Fairy Block back to block the Witness. This might still be fine. Maybe I can even activate Tasser and get another Terminate. Maybe I should terminate the Elf for that reason. that's the case I should have just done it because then I won't be forced to try and top deck a land so stomping ground Nykthos is that the best we can do don't think this deck typically plays an ink moth stomping ground forest okay I feel like Nykthos is better. Now I might just die. Bitter Blossom may kill me. Alright, well, we have a, a kill for Titan no matter what. I guess they're at 6. They have to jump with Witness? This is actually great. This is all due to me almost needlessly attacking with my fairy. play another Titan, but uh, not quite dead on board. But they do have to fade Tassiger. And then we're cutting it close with the fairies. Yeah, because if they didn't have to chomp, I'd probably have to play another Tassiger, and then I get one less activation. Oh, is this like a hoof and I'm dead? Hoof, there it is. Okay, you win this round. Alright, Bitter Blossom, you kind of helped, but you kind of didn't. Alright, let's get in the Radiant Flames. Uh, Crumble, you are out. Man, just jamming that raw witness. That was that was kind of ballsy. I like it though. That yeah, game was close. Close ish. Maybe I make a mistake. Who knows? It's what the good people in the comments are for, to tell me when I make a mistake. They have yet to let me down. And I appreciate it. I really do. It's actually crazy how often... Uh, the... You know, I think back on the game and I'm like, yeah, I can't think of anything I could have done, or uh, I don't think of a line that people pointed out, so it is very helpful. And yeah, we're going to keep this. 
Uh, Vince, Seer Vision, Bolt, Mana Leak would be a snap keep, I think. But we also have an Explosives and a Static Caster, so we have a lot of stuff to stop their little dorks. Plus, we have a Counter Squall, which could stop a Command. Our plan is to basically keep them off mana, though. And they're on six. Well, that's good. So we need to find some manas of our own. Yuck. So definitely bought him the, stat, the uh, Tasker. And then it's whether or not I think Serum Visions is better than a natural draw step. And I think it is. It's certainly worse that they play like turn one bird. But he's he's been leading with Sprawl instead of bird when they have it. So who knows. But yeah, there's the bird. Okay. I think, I think we have the Vision. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, we're behind. Little behind. It's going to play like four Burning Tree Emissaries. Or one Wistful Selkie. Basically the same thing. And what do we do here? We have to play the land untapped. Can't let our opponent just keep dropping Selkie bombs on us. Or Garrick, I suppose Garrick's the big one. Tree Speaker is in there. Okay. Uh, now, I'm gonna try and be a little greedy. Hopefully, draw this land. If we don't draw a land, what happens? Probably lose the game. Come on, top deck. Oh, yeah. Ship it. Ship it. All right. Uh, just get a swamp here, I guess. Could also be an island. Explosives has been pretty great. Just gonna throw that out there. Polly K, Jesus. Where did that come from? Alright, uh, kind of regretting not getting another Steve Vance or a Blood Crypt, I guess, since we drew that bolt. Ugh. So we could snap. Snap a Serum Vision. Might be our best course of action. Otherwise, we're going to end up taking like 10 from this thing. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I was like, ah, oh, Garrick, we can kind of beat that. We can, like, you know, bolt it down and have Counterspell Mana open. Did not work out as planned. So what if our opponent has Primal Command and draws a land? Or has a land, I guess. I'm gonna, like, snap Serum Vision. They're going to put a land on top. It's going to be real bad. Ugh. I think we do have to snap Serum Vision, though. And Probably chump block, even though I need the threat. It's possible that they just try and clear the way for this thing, because it's pretty clear that I'm under the gun. Oh, I thought I was looking so good. Then 5-5 five five happened. Paulo Vitor Damo de Hydra. Thought you were gone, buddy. Thought I wasn't going to have to play against you anymore. Bunch of nonsense. Nonsensical happenings. I don't know. I guess this is how people feel when I drop Pia on them. So, fair play. Alternatively, <laughs> I could just not use Snapcaster Block and try and bolt it. But that's probably not going to work out. Alright, uh, enough is enough. We just need one Sulphur Falls. Unless they put our vent on top and 
shuffle us away. That'd be bad. Yeah, activate that ball. Make that ball enormous. But just big enough that I can kill him still. Yeah. Take him down now. Suck it, Paul. Can't be having any of that. No more Pauls. Alright, that's cool. We're doing alright. Doing alright. Man, so many witnesses. Alright. What are you going to get back? Get back Paul. That I can deal with. Nice, nice. Alright. Um, uh, kind of want to return that Snapcaster and make him discard a card. Staticaster's alright. Staticaster just, like, blanks a lot of their draw steps, which is nice. But, eh, could get it back if it's really an issue. Guess I didn't need the land this turn specifically. Eh, maybe if I want to command and snapcaster, I do, so. That's fine. Turn snappy do, get your card. When are they going to put an obstinate bail off into play? That's what I want to know. That feels like something that should have just happened to me a long time ago. Alright, I think I can remove two bolts ex and explosives. Could, like flashback command I think flashing back command is just better than like getting a bolt or whatever. I think I just counter squall all their stuff that costs less than six. And I think I want to kill witness and make them discard. I could like get back Snapcaster, but um, that's it's gonna be too mana inefficient. I think. Possible I want to save this command to get back my Jace too, but Yeah, we'll counter squall that thing. That's too much too much hassle to deal with. Possible I should trade Jace for Serum Visions there, uh, so that, like, this turn I'm probably going to have to, like, snap counterspell something. I think that might... Eh. No, that's not okay. That is not okay. This might be bad, but I think that's not okay. But yeah, it would be nice to flashback Serum Visions and still have Jace in play, so we're going to go that route. If you ever get summoning trapped or obstinate bail off, so be it. Okay. Now we see our envisions. Could also be a mistake. Bottom keep terminate. 
Oh, that's so gross. Kind of have to, I think. Maybe I just play the land, and then if they do something where I don't want terminate, I can just ship it. Four four. Okay, I'll terminate that. Sure. Remember when I was mana screwed? <laughs> now I'm kind of flooded. Uh oh. Uh oh. Command time. Wish they would have just like drawn lands, like an account of their two big spells, and then like K commanded them on their draw stuff to buy another turn. That would have worked out better. Don't make me shuffle. Target player gains seven life. Target player shuffles their graveyard in their library. Those seem like not great modes. Uh, should I fetch? Down to six. I'm not sure if I can kill them if I fetch. I'm pretty sure their last card's a Titan, but oh, that's a hoof. Okay. That kind of explains their modes, but they're still kind of weird. I mean, I get that I have a Jace, but still. God, can I erase my own Bitter Blossom? I do have a lightning bolt. It's certainly going to help. Uh oh. Well, bolt can take care of both halves of that. Ooh, tar pit. Tech Eric, tech you, tech you, tech you. Maybe I should bolt now because then that's lethal next turn. If they, well, I guess if they draw like a command or something, it's probably just going to gain them seven. We narrowly out racing our bitter blossom. How great. How great.